Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. I'm going to talk about raising your vibration because there's so much out there about the thoughts that we think become things, but I think that it starts with your vibration. I think our vibration is so incredibly important because it's the source of what bubbles up from within us. And if we take care of where we are and where we're vibrating at, then the thoughts that we think, the things we experience, where we focus is so much easier because otherwise it's like effort. It's like we're trying to make sure that we focus our thoughts in a certain direction. But when we are vibrating at a certain level, the thoughts that come from that space are inspired, <laughs> which I've spoken about many times before, and I'll make sure I put links in the notes below or in the, yeah, in the, in the I'll, I'll make sure I put links. But um, when we're vibrating, we, we, we attract things into our experience. Everything that we, we touch, everyone we meet, um, has a magical quality to it. So raising our vibration is so incredibly important. And there's so many ways that you can do this. Um, and sometimes, actually, I just want to go back a couple of steps because there's something I want to share with you. So sometimes in life, things can go slightly wrong. And especially when you're starting to learn to do all of this, um, it doesn't always work the way that you want. But by focusing on things that are good in your life rather than negative is one way to raise your vibration, even when things seem really, 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 excuse the language, shitty. <laughs> <laughs> which I know isn't a really bad word, but it is for me. <laughs> um, and the story I wanted to share with you was um, a while ago, a number of years ago, um, I was living in a beautiful, beautiful place and I'd given my power away to a number of people, which is a story for another time, but I will share that with you another time. And um, it meant that I lost what I actually had in my life at the time. Um, which was a good thing now because having released it I was able to regain my own power but at the time it was fairly traumatic and it meant that I had to move and I was living in a place that I really really didn't like and I still knew a lot of the stuff that I know now that I'm sharing with you um, so I chose in that space not to focus on the things that were irritating me I mean they did irritate me and it came up but I would then change my focus and look for something good so it just so happened it was a flat above a shop. My one next door neighbour um, owned the shop beneath her and um, she decided she was going to make a coffee shop instead of it had been a hair salon. Um, and so there was constant building work and I work from home so there was drilling and banging and I, I just couldn't escape. Um, and then my other neighbour, the walls were so thin that I could hear everything when I went to bed at night that he was going up to in his room. And thank goodness he was a sweet and beautiful and wonderful person. So it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But I could hear him sneeze and cough and, you know, clear his throat. Um, and it felt like when I was in my room, I was um, basically <laughs> his breath away from somebody else, which was not a very pleasant feeling. And I love gardens and flowers and greenery and um, it, all we had was this one sort of concreted sort of patio and that was it. But the reason I'm sharing this is because I could have got really depressed. I could have gone down a spiral and just thought, my God, what has my life become? But I chose to look for the beauty. I chose to create a little garden that I could out of the space that I had and I enjoyed the flowers and the bulbs that I planted. Um, I choose, chose to see the beauty in the people that surrounded me rather than the chaos that um, was spilling over into my life. Um, as I said, they were beautiful and wonderful people and um, I chose to speak to them and to chat with them and to find out about their lives. I chose to, to love them and like them and um, enjoy them being in my lives rather than focusing on the things that irritated me. And believe you me, I could have done that. And the weirdest thing was that I kind of felt a bit stuck in this place. Again, but I didn't focus on that. I focused on other things in my life that I enjoyed. And it was weird because we, we were only there for a year and then our landlord decided that he wanted to sell the place. So we had to move. And it wasn't through a catastrophe or something dreadful happening. It was just because our landlord decided that he didn't want to keep the place anymore. 
Um, and that meant we moved and we moved to an even a, a beautiful place that we really loved with a garden and really amazing neighbours that weren't <laughs> his breath away from us that I couldn't hear sleeping and coughing and spluttering. Um, and so there was so much more beauty in my life. And I'm sharing this because we have a choice over our vibration. We have a choice about where we focus our, our atten attention, even when things seem like they're really awful. It's a choice what you focus on in those moments. The other things that you can do to raise your vibration, other than choosing where you focus, which is pretty amazing and phenomenal, is to enjoy nature, enjoy the sounds, just tap into something that you really love, to be choosy about the things that you watch on TV or listen to on the radio or on your podcasts or whatever else. Choose things that make you feel good because our feelings tell us why we're vibrating. If we feel bad, it's because we're not vibrating at a high level. When you're vibrating at a high level, you feel amazing. So your, your emotions and your sensing is telling you where you are and where you're vibrating. And you can shift yourself up or shift yourself down no matter where you are. And it's about choosing that, making that choice to shift your focus and to look for the next thing that is slightly better than where you are. If you're depressed, feeling angry is better than feeling depressed. So allow yourself to feel angry. When you're angry, then stretch for the next thing above anger that makes you feel good. But don't fight it and make yourself wrong for where you are. Stretch for something higher up than where you currently are and where you're currently sitting. Other things that I love to do when um, I need to shift my vibration, one of which is just go and have a sleep. Um, if you're feeling exhausted and wiped out and things aren't going your way, take a nap, <laughs> recalibrate, wake up and change and shift in that way. Look at what you feed yourself. Does it make you feel good? Or are you fe feeding the negativity inside of yourself? Um, and even at a small choice, um, I've spoken about choice before, so um, I'll try and put a link to that um, in the notes as well so that you can find it easily. But um, making those choices, just like a 20% stretch, which as I said I'll go to, into in this other video that I'll share with you, um, can shift everything. It's not about telling yourself that you need to make a leap um, across a chasm that just doesn't seem possible. It's about micro shifts. It's like little shifts. Every little shift you make helps you to increase your vibration. Having a bubble bath, doing things that make you happy. I can't tell you to do X, Y, and Z and your vibration will shift because I don't know you. I don't know what inspires, excites, ignites you. You know those things. I know that I can watch a rom-com, which I've said before is a little bit sad, but it's fine. And I end up leaving watching, you know, having watched it, feeling sort of happy and fulfilled and, and like life is good and wonderful. So I know that if I'm feeling really low, if I watch a rom-com, my energy lifts. I know that's a quick fix for me. Um, meeting up with friends, speaking to people that inspire me and lift me up and that are joyful, um, that helps me to shift. Um, as I've said, nature, for me, going for a walk out in the countryside is something that just fills my soul. Um, reading a book or listening to a podcast, um, I know that Abraham Hicks, I've mentioned them many times before. Um, for me, if I'm feeling flat, all I need to do is listen to a few of those and I'm reminded of my source of my truth within me. And when I'm reminded of that, my energy jumps and I shift up a gear. So there's so many things that you can do. And, and I've actually got a free course about raising your vibration. So if you want any ideas, um, I'll put a link to that. You're welcome to go and, along and um, <laughs> be inspired by some of the things that I've tried in the past. Um, I hope this has helped you to realise the importance of where you are in your vibration and why you need to look after it because everything that you experience in life comes from where you're vibrating at. And you have control over that. You have the ability to choose things that can help you shift that vibration into a higher level. I love you so much, um, and I've loved sharing this with you. If you've enjoyed it, I would really appreciate your likes, your subscriptions, your sharing, your comments, and all of that. It means a lot to me. I also have lots of resources like this, the um, free course I spoke about and other courses and links to my coaching and whatever else on my website. So much love from me to you and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.